Words. Words. Okay. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and I bring content on all things clean beauty and skincare. If you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you and if you are already, thank you of course. Today's video is going to be really fun. I have a bunch of clean skincare from Target to talk about. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First off, if you notice, my setup is very different. It's because it is. I'm about 98% packed right now. Um, I did mention in my previous video, I'm moving and we are shipping our stuff. So we're not going to have most of our furniture and basically everything else for about 20 days. That's how long it takes to ship. So bare necessities right now. My vanity is going to be gone pretty soon. I already packed up all of my skincare in the shelves. So that's why it's looking very bland. I just have like my essentials right there which I will do a video on like what skincare and makeup I kept because I think that'd be a fun idea to see like what my top picks are, like things I can't live without for a month. So that'll be coming up. Lots of fun stuff coming out. But um, let's get into my favorite clean skincare from Target. So I'm going to start with like how I would apply them to my face. So I'm going to start with the cleansers and then work my way from there. So first off, I have one cleanser I want to mention. This is from Honest Beauty. It's their Magic Gel 2 Milk Cleanser with Rose Water. Honest Beauty is a really good clean beauty brand they have at Target. This is a really interesting cleanser. It says gel to milk. I feel like it doesn't get that milky. It kind of just turns into a regular cleanser. So I'm not really sure the name matches the cleanser, but it is a really nice cleanser. I find it gets my makeup off really well. It doesn't have that much of a scent to it, really neutral, maybe a light rose scent. I like Honest Beauty's products because they're not really heavily scented, they're not overpowering, so if you are sensitive to things like that, then this is definitely a good cleanser to pick up. Scented with rose water, yeah, so it's a very light scent. It's just a really nice daily cleanser if you're looking for one, if you're in Target and you just need a nice cleanser, I think this is a really good versatile one. I think it'll work for basically any skin type and it's just like, a really good basic cleanser you know and I also wanted to mention these wipes from Pacifica these are the essential makeup removing wipe, makeup removing wipes with jasmine and coconut water I'm not sure they sell these exact ones I'm sure they sell them at Target my Target doesn't stock a lot of stuff but I did get these ones just the other day actually these are the rose water makeup removing my wipes wipes what is that these are the rose water makeup removing wipes I picked these up the other day these have rose and coconut water I haven't tried these ones yet, but I've been through like two packages of the other ones, which I really like. So I picked these up. I actually got these for my trip. I'm going on it very soon. I'm pre-filming some things before I go on vacation because when we come back from that, we are shipping the rest of our stuff. So it's going to be crazy busy, really busy month. But um, yeah, I actually bought these for vacation to take my makeup off also at the beach to like refresh my face before I put on a new sunscreen. And I hate when I have sand on my hands and I like touch my body and try to rub sunscreen in that is literally the worst feeling ever I swear so these are always great to have on hand and it's just like if your hands are dirty or you just want to refresh armpits literally anywhere Pacifica is a really great brand they have a really good amount of skincare I actually don't have anything other than this to talk about but I do like a couple of their other products their moisturizers are great they have great cleansers I just don't have any now to show you but if you are in Target I would check out Pacifica and their other products that they carry and I also have one more package of wipes to talk about. These ones are from Honest Beauty as well. It's the Purify and Refresh Makeup Removing Wipes. I actually really like these wipes. They take off makeup pretty well. I think the Pacifica ones do a pretty good job. I mean, I feel like I can never just cleanse my face with a wipe. Like, I have to cleanse afterwards. It's just like, I feel like my face is not totally clean. But these ones are really nice as well. You get, let's see, 30 in here. I believe the Pacifica ones have a 30 in them as well. Yeah. So these ones are really great. This is completely empty. I went through these really quickly. I actually use these a lot when I'm like filming videos to wipe makeup off, off of my hand or like clean up my face. So these are great wipes as well. A lot of great wipe options at Target. I said I only had one cleanser, but I actually have another one to talk about. I put everything back in the box because I feel like I like watching videos when people take things out of boxes might just be me. If you guys like that as well, let me know because I always like keep the boxes and put things back in. I don't know why, even though I've been using them. <laughs> so anyway, this is from Acure. It's their incredibly clear charcoal lemonade cleansing clay. I actually gave this to my boyfriend. So this is currently his cleanser. He really likes it. 
I've used it a couple times as well. It's a really interesting texture. It does, of course, it's black like the charcoal in it, but it like, it's not like an exfoliating cleanser, but it does have like little bits of like, I don't even know what in it, but it kind of gives you a nice gentle exfoliation. It smells really nice. Exactly like lemonade, really beautiful cleanser. Acure is a freaking great brand. I have a ton of products here to talk about from them, but this is a really nice cleanser. I also really love their Brilliant Brightening Scrub, I believe it's called. I actually put that in the giveaway I mentioned a couple videos back. So that along with a serum is going to the winner, but I like that, I've used that for years. That's like one of my favorite products. If you do like a physical exfoliator, that one's great. But yeah, this is a nice cleanser and I've really been enjoying testing it out. And my boyfriend, he likes it. He told me he liked it, so it's boyfriend verified. Before we get into serums and products like that, I'm gonna go over my masks and sort of like little miscellaneous items that I like. First off, I wanna mention this mask from Pixi. Now I know Pixi isn't the cleanest brand. I usually mention them in clean videos just because they're a cleaner option. So I feel like if you guys are looking for a cleaner option, you could check Pixi out as well. Of course, just read the ingredients for yourself and see what you prefer to avoid and what you're fine using in skincare. So this is their Glow Mud Mask. It's a 15 minute facial. So this is really interesting because it's detoxifying, but it's like exfoliating at the same time, but also like doesn't irritate my skin, which I think is great. It says aloe vera, ginseng, and mineral rich mud combined to create the ultimate deep pore cleansing and skin energizing mask. Great for congested, dull, and tired skin. Exactly, I agree with that. If you have a congested skin, your skin's looking dull, especially coming out of winter, having that dull winter skin, want to brighten up for spring. This is a really nice mask and I've been enjoying using it. I feel like I said that about every product so far, but yeah, I really like this mask and I'm not gonna make it too long because I don't want this video to be like crazy long, but yeah, good mask, let's move on. So I wanted to mention these as well. These are new to Pixi. They're their Glow Glycolic Boost. Uh, sheet masks. I usually don't like sheet masks. I don't know. I feel like they're messy and they kind of just make me look crazy, you know, but these ones I've actually really been loving. They feel, they like actually make a difference in my skin, which I feel like is just, you know, if I'm going to buy skincare, I want it to make a difference. I don't want it just to be like novelty and just, you know, waste my time with this. So these are really good. If you guys have tried their glow tonic, tonic that's a great product. That's basically like the glow tonic in a sheet mask and it just like, you can leave it on. I think it says to leave it on, yeah, for 10, 15 minutes. And then you take it off and kind of pat the serum in. And it really does make your skin look brighter. I don't get any irritation. I am pretty sensitive to like um, chemical exfoliators, but I find that these don't irritate my skin at all. But if you do have sensitive skin, maybe just like give them a little test, see how your skin reacts to them. But I really have been enjoying these ones. All right, moving on to eye products. The first one I have is the Seriously Soothing Eye Stick. This is from Acure. They came out with like a bunch of cool new skincare lately. Acure was one of the first like clean skincare brands I ever tried and they're really expanding their line, which I think is great. And they're available at like most targets, I believe. So this has blue tansy and arnica for normal to sensitive skin. They've also like color coded their skincare. So if it's pink, this is like their sensitive line. And then the blue is for like, and I think the blue is for more oily skin. So like the blue packaging right here. But let me go ahead and open this guy up for you. So this is a really interesting applicator. It has a metal tip to it, which I love for under the eyes. It's really cooling. And then you sort of just have this like, it's sort of like a button. It's just like squishy. And then like the eye serum pops off and then you put it on your eye and then kind of rub it in. I really like the application of this. So I would say I would mainly use this at night. I feel like when I use it during the day, and it dries and then I put concealer over it kind of does pill up and just it doesn't layer well like under my makeup but I do enjoy using this at night it just feels really nice if you're not wearing makeup that day I would totally use this in the morning as well but it just didn't really work out for me under my concealer but I still think it's a great product it feels really soothing it's a lightweight eye serum so it's not going to give too much weight to your skin or it's not going to feel oily it does sink in pretty well on my hand there so yeah, this is a really good eye product. I think the applicator is really unique. One of the first like serum products I've tried that's an applicator and I really like the metal tip. Super cooling, great ingredients, blue tansies, great for any sort of like inflammation or irritation. So I would definitely recommend this little eye serum stick if you're looking for a good like nighttime eye treatment. Next eye product I want to mention is another product from Pixi. It's their Detoxa Eye Depuffing Eye Patches. 
Oh my gosh, these are so good. I did not think I was gonna like these as much as I have. You open them up and there's like this little spoon to get the eye patches out and then it has a lid. And that's what they look like. They're just like these green jellies. They have like sparkles on them, which is, you know, it's extra, but it's cute. So these I feel like are the only eye patches I've used that I've actually noticed a difference in my eye area. They have caffeine in them. They're really soothing. They have cute cucumber in them as well just put them under your under eyes especially in the morning i feel like the caffeine in them literally like tightens up my under eye area like they look freaking flawless perfect to do before like a big event or if you just want your concealer and makeup to like look bomb these are a great thing to pick up uh i was basically blown away by these i've tried the acure under eye hydro gels and like they're okay i like using them i feel like they're refreshing but i don't think they did anything amazing to my under eyes but these bad boys from Pixie, they good. All right, let's get on to serums. I have two here from Honest. I have two serums here from Honest Beauty. I have a retinol serum and a vitamin C serum. Let's start with the vitamin C serum. This bad boy, if I could open it. I got it, okay. So this product, I haven't been testing for the longest time, so I can't really make any comments about like brightening in my skin because I haven't noticed anything yet. It's only been like a week since I've been trying this, but I wanted to mention it. So it has this really cool, both of the serums have a cool twist up top. So they like lock into place and you could like squeeze some serum out and then you could lock them back. I really like how it's airtight so the ingredients stay nice and preserved. This is what the serum looks like. It's a more of like a hyaluronic acid feeling serum. It's not really one of those creamy serums. It's definitely more of a gel consistency. And this is really interesting because it does have a little bit of mica in it. So if you use it, it does instantly give your skin a glow, but it's like barely noticeable. It's literally just like little hints of mica. So if you use this in the morning, it's a really great thing to use under makeup because it makes you look super glowy. But yeah, you can use this day and night. Like I said, I haven't tested it long enough to make any comments about like acne scarring or anything like that but this has artichoke and clover extracts let's see what else we have in here it does have sodium hyaluronate let's see what else we got in here aloe artichoke apple fruit extract flower water yeah some other things like that if you're looking for a more affordable vitamin C serum, I would say this is a good one. I'll have to like do a little update once I try it out some more and see how it actually affects my skin. But so far, no breakouts and no irritation. So yeah. And the other serum I have here is the retinol serum. Comes in this blue box right here. I actually never used a retinol before, so I was really interested in trying this one out. And just like the vitamin C serum, I feel like I have to continue testing these to give you guys like a better review, but I just want to mention them to show you guys that there are good clean skincare options at Target. So this has hyaluronic acid and a retinol in it, but I think it has encapsulated retinol. Yeah, it has tapio tapioca encapsulated time release retinol. So it's gonna be a really good retinol option if you have more sensitive skin or if you're like me and you've never used a retinol before. Just like a good starter product. Just like the vitamin C serum, it's a little tacky but it doesn't pill up with products. It's a more gel-like consistency that sinks in. And yeah, no scent to either of them. This one, maybe like very lightly, just has a bit of like a chemical scent but literally like I have to really sniff my hand, so I don't even think it would be noticeable if you put it on your face. So yeah, I think it's really cool that Honest Beauty came out with these new serums. They look really good. Like I said, I'll have to test them out some more. But so far, so good. If you guys are curious about like any makeup I'm wearing on my face, I will put it in the description below. I've been freaking obsessed with like the base combo and just face makeup I've been doing lately. Like I feel like it looks so good. I've been wearing this all day and it's like snatched. So. Check the description if you're wondering about foundation, concealer, powder, all that jazz, it will be below. Let's go ahead and move on to little moisturizing products. First off, a cure, seriously soothing cloud cream. I mentioned this in my favorites video and it's so good. I think this is like a dupe for the herbivore cloud cream. I've never tried that one, but this one's really nice. So save the money and just get this one because the ingredients are great. Hyaluronic acid, argan extract, 
support normal to sensitive skin. So if you get in any sort of like irritation, this is a great one. Barely any scent to it. Maybe like a little bit like shea butter, but it's just the perfect nourishing, soothing, like comforting cream on the skin. Pairs beautifully with makeup. You can use that at night or morning. It's like nourishing enough that it gives you enough hydration at night but also lightweight enough so that you can use it in the morning and it won't pill up or make you feel greasy or anything like that. Like it literally just sinks in. Really comforting on the skin. I think Akira freaking knocked it out of the park with this cream. They have a couple other creams as well. This is the only one I've tried, but beautiful. I also wanted to give a mention to the Honest Beauty Organic Beauty Facial Oil. I haven't used this or opened it yet because I have so many facial oils that I need to go through. I don't want to like break this one open yet. I might even give this away to one of you guys, but this sounds really good. It has olive oil, sunflower oil, apricot oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, chia seed oil. Okay, you probably don't want to hear me list all the oils. But yeah, this looks really good. The bottle is really cute. I think the packaging is great. I haven't tried it yet, but if you're looking for a good, like more affordable oil option, check this one out. They do have this at my Target. You can always go on the Target app and like go to in store and then search products and see if they have it at your store. Really handy little trick there. But yeah, organic, all that good stuff. Moving on. Lastly, I wanted, is that the last product? It is. Last product here, guys. Last product I wanted to mention is from Acure. Again, best clean skincare brands at Target, Pacifica, Acure, Honest Beauty. They actually added a couple things from like Uni on there as well. Like they have that jelly cleanser and like body wipes. They have a couple other brands I haven't really tried out. I know like Captain Blankership's like, I think it's like a sister brand. I forgot what it's called. It's like the sailor themed stuff. And then they have... <laughs> Sorry. And then, <laughs> and then they have like the SW basic stuff. I have a whole wall of like clean skincare at my Target, so it's really easy to like look for everything. But anyway, this is the Acure Radically Rejuvenating SPF Day Cream, SPF 30. This has turmeric, ferulic acid, and vitamin C, vegan, clean, cruelty free, all that good, good. So this, if you guys are looking for an affordable face SPF, this is the one. It's bomb. I've been using this pretty often. I'm actually going to give it to my boyfriend to use on vacation because he doesn't have a face SPF. But it is a mineral sunscreen, but at least on my skin cone, my skin cone, on my skin cone, it doesn't leave a white cast. So once you rub it in, at least on me, it doesn't have any sort of white cast. It does leave you with a little bit of like a tacky base right away so you could either let it sink in or I find if you put makeup over it like it kind of acts as a really nice primer so I don't think that's really an issue. I just wouldn't do a ton of rubbing because it might pill especially if you use it with an oil. I feel like in the morning I usually stick to a cream because I think SPF pairs better with that compared to an oil or just let them sink in a long time before doing your layers. But yeah. Sinks in really nice. I think the little bottle's super cute. You get 1.7 fluid ounces in here, which is actually a pretty good amount for the price. It's a great amount for the price, actually. The one I'm using now is the Ren Clean Screen, which is more pricey, of course. And I think this has 22% mineral sunscreen. All right, guys, there is one more brand that I wanted to talk a little bit about. This is Red Earth Beauty. They literally have the most gorgeous packaging I've ever seen. This is like a new skincare line to Target. So I thought I would talk about a couple of products I have from them. First off is the Pink Coconut Cloud Cream. Packaging, again, is gorgeous. This is what the jar comes in. It looks like cool holographic detail on the top. And this, at first, I was like, why is it a cloud cream? But when I opened it, the texture is literally like, it's more of a whipped moisturizer, but it's like a cloud consistency. Basically, it's really like plush and nourishing feeling on the skin. It has a really light fruity scent, not anything overpowering. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, I don't really think this would bother you too much. But yeah, this is a really nice moisturizer. I think it sinks in very well. It has coconut and pomegranate extracts. It's light enough so you could use it in the morning under makeup, but it's also nourishing enough that you could use it at night. So I think it's a really great little multi-use type of cream. So this is a really beautiful product. And then I have two other things. 
I have their pink coconut face mist. These are all from their pink coconut line. This is a face mist. Let me show you what the bottle looks like. So this is a hydrating face mist. It just comes in this clear bottle. It does, I think, have a good mister on it. So it's not too like strong. It doesn't like splatter too, it doesn't splatter too much on your face. I like to use this under makeup. I think it's a really good makeup setting mist as well. I like the little size because I think it's good to like throw in your bag during the day if you want to refresh your makeup or refresh your skin if you're not wearing any makeup. So I think this is really nice. Again, the scent isn't too strong. Maybe just a little bit of a fruity, fruitiness to it. But uh, yeah, this is an Australian brand, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that, but this packaging is so cute. I don't know if I could ever throw away these boxes. I'm so excited. Okay, and then the last product I wanted to talk about is their Pink Coconut Clay Cleansing Mask. Here's the box right here. This is a clay mask. You get a ton of product in here. This is what the tube looks like. I love the sort of like metal tube packaging for masks. I think they're really easy to like disperse onto your hand or onto your face. So you get 3.4 fluid ounces of mask in here, which is a lot of mask. Usually I feel like their jar ones are only one ounce. So this is what the packaging looks like, and then it comes... This was a little a little tube dispenser I don't know what do you call that but here's what the texture of that looks like it is just a white clay mask but what I really like about this is that it's not too drying but it's still effective I feel like with a lot of clay masks especially if you leave them on too long they can get really drying and kind of just like make your skin even worse but if my skin's feeling congested or I just want to like refresh it, I usually like to use this mask. It is a pretty new product to me, but I've been enjoying it so far. There actually is a post about this on my Instagram if you want some more details. But yeah, love the packaging on this. Everything is just super cute and I really enjoy their products. So yeah, that was it for Red Earth. Alright guys, those were all of my clean skincare picks from Target. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a like. Comment below if you've ever gone into Target for one thing and come out with at least three more things that you didn't really need but felt like you had to pick up. I know I have. Don't forget to subscribe, like, give me a comment below, turn on your post notifications. Doing all that really helps me out and just thank you guys for all the support, everything you do. I just appreciate so much. So thank you for tuning into my channel and I will see you guys next time. I just did finger guns. What?